Hello everybody, I'm back. Ya estamos de regreso. Uh, hubo un corte de energía y, y debido a que la batería se me dañó la última vez. Que igual, debido a un corte de energía, así que se me apagó automáticamente la computadora. But we're here already. already. So we got, ah, good, we got more people now. Okay, we're going to continue where we stayed. Give me a second, I'm going to share the audience more people here. So everybody, turn on your cameras. I want to see you people. Just give me a second, I am going to upload the presentation and what we got for today. In the meantime, uh, just to move on, eh, mientras tanto para avanzar, eh, let's talk a little bit about the class that we had yesterday. What do we remember from yesterday's class? ¿Cuál fue el tema principal de la clase anterior? Can somebody tell me? The simple past statement. Okay, we were discussing the simple past statements. Okay, very good. That was part of the topic. Thank you, Elmer. What else were we discussing last class? ¿Qué más estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada? Yes, um, now questions. Now, okay, very good. We were discussing that, like, yes, now questions. Using the simple past, right? Usando el pasado simple. Un regular verb. Now, okay, we were discussing regular and irregular verbs. Okay, very good. That, is, that was far basically uh, of what we were doing, right? Okay, good. Uh, do you remember the structure? How to ask questions in simple past? ¿Cuál es la estructura que necesitamos para formar preguntas en pasado simple? Que sean just no questions. Do you remember the structure? Subject. Okay, subject. Um, class, may verb in past. Uh huh. ED or irregular. Um, mm. Class complement. Uh, and the complement. Okay. Just, just keep that in mind. Okay. That the main verb. Recordemos que el verbo principal. Okay. Ese no va en pasado. Okay. Simplemente va en forma base. Okay. The one that takes the action of the simple past is the auxiliary verb. Okay. That's the one that goes uh, in simple past. Entonces, ¿cómo identificar cuando nosotros tenemos oraciones en pasado? Ah, por el verbo. Okay. El verbo principal. E ¿Y cómo identificar cuando una pregunta está en pasado? Ah, easy. Lo identificamos por el auxiliar. Because of the auxiliary board, okay? So this is the video conference nine, as I was saying. And today's topic is talking about your company. Uh, we're gonna have a short vocabulary practice, right? Um, but before doing that, pero antes de hacer ello, a, a comenzar con el tema de esta noche, vamos a hacer eh, parte de la tarea que dejamos pendiente la clase pasada in the manual, okay? You remember we were discussing some things in the manual and we skip one exercise. Nos faltó un ejercicio por terminar, if you remember, okay? So that's what we are going to do right now. Give me a second. No sé si me eh, ¿Me confirman, por favor, si me escuchan bien? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Lo que, lo que pasa, teacher, es que está, aquí está cayendo un gran de agua. Entonces, yes. eso casi no se escucha demasiado. Está prácticamente como acá. Acá está lloviendo súper fuerte. Ya, yeah, miren, that makes... Igual por acá, entonces está, está grande esa nube, vea. 
Yes, probably. Probablemente esté por todos lados, porque sí, veo que también está, está viviendo por esa zona. Teacher, yeah. bájale ahí un poquito a la, a la música de fondo ahí, el del bar. <risa> hey, what's up there, Eric? No, es Salvador, no soy yo. De la rocola, dices. Sí. Okay. Hey, no, miren, está tan complicado que dicen que todo lo que es el, el agua de los pangos se ha mojado con la lluvia. Sí, así está también acá en Coatepeque. Really? Wow. Sí. So that, that, that. It means that the, like, the storm is kind of uh, interesting. Okay, yeah. Nice, go. nice, nice. <laughs> Eddie. Okay, good. Uh, okay, what are we gonna do like, right now? Let's let's check a little bit uh, and let's see some examples, a little bit of, of what we were doing last class and then let's do, okay, what we got for today. So this is a little bit of um, a class agenda that we're gonna have. And the first thing that we're gonna be doing is a, just a review from the previous class. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso antes de hacer lo del ejercicio. Okay, just for you to remember. All right, and then we're gonna start with a vocabulary practice related to the company. Este tipo de vocabulario básicamente es para crear pequeñas conversaciones. Ahora vamos a estar trabajando más con pequeñas conversaciones, like small talks, en la cual lo vamos a estar haciendo, eh, ya sea en tríos o parejas, like this type of uh, uh, exercises, doing that. All right, after that, uh, we're gonna be practicing conversation. Luego vamos a dividirnos y vamos a optar por una, un pequeño tema cada uno en la cual vamos a poder crear una pequeña conversación. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing. And then we're going to complete some exercises in the manual. Oh, work in the manual. So this is pretty much what we have for uh, tonight. Okay. So let's start with the most interesting thing that we got for today. Simple past statement. Vamos a recordar un poco. Okay. ¿Cuál es el uso del pasado simple? Just, just right after finishing this, let's do uh, the exercise on the manual. Okay, Eric, help me on reading. Okay, teacher. We use the simple past to talk about past events. Mm -hmm, very good. So we got some examples. All right, Ever, read the first example. Okay, Jose wrote a report last week. Ah, okay, very good. Jose wrote a report last week. If you take a look in there, ¿qué tipo de verbo es este? Este es un verbo regular o irregular? What do you think? Irregular. All right, very good. This is an irregular verb. ¿Cuál es la forma base de este verbo? Do you know it? ¿Sabemos la forma base de este verbo? It's right. Exactly. It is right. Okay. For the ones who don't know, okay, this verb is like this. Right. That is, okay, that is the base form. Esa es la forma uh, de base del verbo wrote. Okay. So that's, that means that this verb is irregular. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, Salvador, read this example, please. They went to the beach. Ah, okay. Very good. They went to the beach. Okay, what is the form of this verb? Is it regular or irregular? Is it regular or irregular? What do you it think? Irregular too. It is irregular? Okay, and what is 
And what is the base form of that verb? ¿Cuál es la forma base de ese verbo? Let's want. see. Want? Want, right. Are you sure ever? Want, went, yeah. Hmm. Or go. Ah. Go. Exactly. Go. Esa es la forma, ok, base de este verbo. Ok. It's go. I'm going to write it down in here. Yeah, the base form of the verb went, it's go. Go, simple present. Went, simple past. Okay, uh, let's continue with this. Uh, let's see who can help me. Jonathan, help me reading this. I finished in the interview early. Okay, I finished the interview early. Okay, is this regular or irregular, Stephanie? Is this a regular or an irregular verb? It's regular. Is it regular? Why? Um, because uh, exactly because it finished in ed thank you stephanie okay so remember this is the structure okay how we make of how we create okay statements using simple past okay let's keep that on mind okay vamos a hacer okay let's let's create in here the structure Solo para que recuerden la estructura. We got subject, right? Plus verb in past, okay? Plus, all right, in that case, remember, this is complement in here. Oh, what is it? Like this. The subject in this case is I, the verb in past or main verb, Let's write that main verb. Uh, I got it twice. Like this. It, this it, it, it must be like this. The subject is I. The main verb in past is finished. Recordemos que siempre en toda oración afirmativa en pasado simple, el verbo siempre tiene que ir en pasado. Okay? And then we got the complement. Y luego tenemos un complemento. ¿Para qué nos sirve? Ah, para hacer la oración más específica, like to put it like more specific. All right, this is part of what we got, okay, for that. I don't know if you have any question. Remember that this is part of the structure that we were practicing yesterday in the previous, okay, in the previous class. I don't know if you have any question. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá. Related to this. All right, no questions? Hmm? Okay, perfect. What are we gonna do right now? Uh, let me know if you finish writing down that. Háganme saber si ya terminaron de escribir esa, esa parte. Porque voy a dejar... Ok, porque voy a dejar de compartir y vamos a poner el, el manual. Because we're going to be working like the most in the manual. And for the ones who are coming, welcome. Hey, Mrs. Urrutia, do you take a shower? Parece que se bañó. <laughs> <laughs> Is it raining? Yes. Sí, me mojé, entonces... No puede sí. caer mal. Así dicen de que está una tormenta bastante fuertecita por esas zonas. Sí. It's like here. Aquí ya poco a poco va pasando, pero sí estaba una tormenta súper fuerte. Bueno, tanto así que tuve varios cortes de energía. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Before starting the class and during the class. Okay. Uh, I guess you have already finished writing, so I am going to stop sharing this, and then uh, let's focus on the manual.
Give me a moment, please. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to put the manual. I think we're gonna be working in page 24, if I'm not wrong. That was the page that we were working yesterday. Yes, page 24. Give me a second. I'm going to to share this part. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, what is it? Ah, it's in here. Okay. I guess you can see uh, the manual in your screen. If you remember, this was uh, part of what we were doing yesterday. Eh, al final estuvimos leyendo estos, este cuadro, okay, about the uses of the simple past. And this was the homework that was uh, not actually no homework because I didn't, told, uh, didn't tell you to do it. Pero este era el último ejercicio que no completamos, okay? Uh, what are we going to do here? Listen up. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Uh, Helmar, help me reading this, please, about what we're going to do. Complete the indication. Complete the question below using the words in parentheses. Okay, in parentheses. Continue. Be interview to classmate takes note of the artwork. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Combine. Com combine. Combine short and long artwork. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, what we're gonna do that is in the next exercise. Eso lo vamos a hacer en el próximo ejercicio que vamos a hacer. Uh, but what are we gonna do with this? Listen up. What it really matters is in here. In here, we got the verbs. Acá tenemos los verbos. In parentheses. All of these verbs, okay, most of them are regular. De todos estos verbos, ¿cuál es el irregular que tenemos ahí? Which one is the irregular one? Meet. Meet, Meet exactly. Meet is the only one that we got that is irregular. What are we going to do? Listen. Vamos a crear acá las preguntas. Vamos a complementar estas preguntas acá utilizando estos verbos. We're going to use these verbs. Okay. And after that, después de ello, okay, después de hacer las preguntas, de crear las preguntas, using, like, remember, yes, no questions. Acá, acá, en esta zona donde están los puntitos, in this area, vamos a escribirle una respuesta a esas preguntas. We're going to write, okay, an answer to those questions. All right, generally, those answers, uh, whether it must be uh, just no questions or a long answer. Pero ahorita lo que, lo que, lo que nos vamos a enfocar es en crear estas preguntas. Like, for example... We got number one already done here. We got the verb attend in here. And it says, did you attend to a seminar last month? You see, ¿qué se le agregó acá? Just did you. Okay. En este caso, con las demás, ustedes son libres de escoger si lo quieren hacer en tercera persona, en plural o en primera persona, okay? But what it matters for me is for you to, to use these verbs correctly. Okay, let's do it. Vamos a hacerlo entonces. Let me know when you finished. This is part of what we were doing yesterday. So let's copy the information and let's finish the questions. Si tienen alguna duda, please let me know. Háganmelo saber. Ah, Natalie's here. Hi, Natalie. Hi, teacher. How are you, Natalie? Oh. 
Ok. Teacher, está cayendo una gran tormenta acá, no te lo escucho. Yes, here too. Igual acá. Está súper fuerte. I think that a storm is all over the country. Okay, how many of you are in here? Fifteen. Debo suponer que los demás tuvieron problemas de conectividad, and that's why they are not connected. Casi no, casi no se escucha y no lo escucho, Richard. Okay. Really? You don't listen? Because of the raining? Yeah. Muy fuerte. Oh my God. Yes, that will happen, uh, especially at night. That generally happens at night. All right, just let me know how you go. Okay? Ah, Ana García is connecting. Hi, Ana. I don't let the people like to, to, to start. Hi, teacher. All right, Ana. Uh, eh, ahorita sus compañeros han comenzado a hacer una actividad eh, de crear las preguntas con los verbos que aparecen en paréntesis. Like there, in there. Okay, so I want you to do it too. Así que quiero que también lo haga, ¿ok? Ok. All right. Uh, excuse me. Yes, tell me. Que lo podemos hacer en segunda persona, en tercera persona o en primera, ¿verdad? Yes, uh, it's up to you. Ahí es decisión suya. If you want to do it plural, do it with plural. If you want to do it in, in third person, ok, no, no problem. In first person, it's the same, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Give me a second. Una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Se va a utilizar solamente lo que está en paréntesis o también de lo del lado de los numerales, donde tiene el signo de pregunta? Este, eh, esta parte acá ah, es simplemente el complemento de la pregunta que usted va a crear. Exactly. Ah, okay. Complement. ok. ¿Cómo lo vamos okay. a hacer? Ok. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Lo vamos a hacer siguiendo la estructura que ya conocemos. ¿Cuál es la estructura de una pregunta? Remember, we start, we start up with did. Comenzamos una pregunta utilizando did plus what? Plus subject. And after the subject, the verb in base form plus complement, All right? Plus the question mark. Esa es la estructura que ustedes tienen que seguir para crear esas preguntas. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Parte de ello ya prácticamente está acá, que ustedes tienen el complemento. ¿Qué es lo único que van a agregar ustedes? Deal plus subject plus base, base form of the verb. Más el verbo, que el verbo acá les aparece. Este es el verbo que van a escribir ustedes. Eh, el que aparece ahí en cada uno de los, de los paréntesis. In here. Teacher. Yes? I, ha I have a question. Yeah, uh, tell me. With, uh, the number five. Uh -huh. uh, the verb is network. Yes, network. That's the verb. 
In Spanish, red. Yeah, likely similar to the red. Y ahí, ahí sí me... Bueno, ya voy a pensar. Porque ahí ¿Ah? sí me... Eh, es que... Remember, remember, red, red is, the, is the noun, right? But uh, taking it as a verb, ¿cómo sería con, ya con, como verbo? Pues eso es lo que no entiendo. Ok, as a verb means conectar a la red. Así significa, conectar a red. Ajá. Natalie, ya siento que me caen esos rayazos en la computadora. <ríe> ok, ok. Porque está lloviendo muy fuerte. Tío. Yes, in here too. Acá igual, y lo peor de todo es que en mi caso es que... Eh, está no sé sonando si... con todo. <ríe> en mi caso es, ¿se acuerdan que en la última vez que se me desconectó a media clase la computadora debido a alguna tormenta, eh, fue debido a un rayo, entonces se me dañó la batería. Menos mal, solo la batería, así que, así que toda vez que se va la energía, y died, la computadora muere. <laughs> And I was like begging for not to, to, to have a, a, a disconnection. Got it, Eric? Eh, tengo más dudas que, Why? Es que ah es que vaya, lo puedo hacer did, did you solo solo sería did you network in the convention o or, or did you make the network in the convention in the convention no no porque entonces ya ahí no sería el, el verbo principal ya no sería network sino make make eh, only did, okay ¿Entiendes la pregunta? Do you understand that question, Eric? Sí. Ok, pero... repítela, repítela como dije. Repítela. Uh, did you network in the convention? What does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué significa en español? Que si hice la red en la convención. No. Okay. Ah, pues no entendí. Ok, ¿Qué le, ¿qué le mencioné anteriormente que significaba network como verbo? Conexión. Conexión. Conec conectarse uh -huh. a la red. Ok, uh -huh. ¿se conectó a la red en la convención? Ah, ok. ¿Sí? Hoy sí. Hoy sí All right, perdí. got it. So, en ese caso es como, ¿se conectó a internet? Ok, en vez de decir, uh -huh. like, to internet, y says network. Sí, me, me había perdido. Estaba <risa> traduciendo. Ah, de okay. mala manera. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Yo las hice, yeah. pero no sé si eso es así. Really? Okay. Uh, did, you, did you follow up the, the structure in there? ¿Seguimos la, estru la estructura que tenemos ahí? Eh, ahí abajito. Okay, ahí abajito está. Mientras sus compañeros terminan, eh, let's check it. Ahí está. Did plus subject plus member in base form plus complement el complemento ustedes ya lo tienen ok y el verbo igual But, uh, for example uh, la segunda ok leame la, la segunda did, did you enjoy, enjoy the seminar ok that's the one okay. yes ok ok good y así he hecho los demás bueno All no right, sé perfect. si los digo ahorita o Let's wait for, for your classmates okay. to finish. Okay. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. So let me know when you finish, people. Ya va a decir Stephanie que pase Eric primero. Like, Eric. Like, like yesterday. Ya ve como es, teacher. Yes. Yes. Stephanie. No, hombre, Stephanie. Ponen jaque a Eric. Y Eric con los comprados ayer. <ríe> oh, my God. Por Eric, ay, Dios mío. Esa yes. oportunidad me la tiene que dar, teacher. <ríe> ok, yeah. In the future. In a Pero future. se salvó. 
Yes. Saved by the ring. Okay, people, how do you go? Como vamos? Do you finish? Because most of you, I got it with the cameras uh, off. Why, why are you got, why do you got your cameras off? I want to see you. Okay, that's good. Okay. Carla, how do you go? Ya vamos a terminar. Teacher, mire, y podría mandar la presentación de ayer al, al chat. Ah, ok, I will. Y right. ya, la de ahora no sé si empezaba ahí donde decía el simple pass statement o si eh, había yeah. otra lámina antes. No, la, antes, antes simplemente había uh, lo, los, digamos, los puntos principales que íbamos a tener para la clase. But ah, today, okay. yes, but today the class is most focused on the, on the um, manual. Ahora, uh -huh. eh, la clase de esta noche prácticamente va a ser más basada en el manual. Así que I just got those presentations only for uh, feedback. Ok. Ah, the main class ah, pues, is going entonces, to be here. tal vez la de ayer sí lo puede mandar. Yes, oh, I will. Gracias, Victor. Ok, I will. Just give me a second. I have to, to, to connect to, to, to these things again. Ok, uh, does everybody finished? Terminamos? Ok, a ver, very good. Ana María, you finish? Finish. Okay, very good, William. All right, Ana María. Okay, let's start. Um, mm -hmm. Give me a second. I need to... Okay, we got these things. All right, let, let's, let's start with this. Carla, can you please read Question number three, because uh, Stephanie read number two. Okay. Read, read number three, please. Uh, did he meet new people? Ah, okay, very good. Did he meet new people? Like this, right? Did he meet new people? Okay, recuerden que ahí, eh, el subject va a variar, ¿ok? Porque no todos tienen lo mismo. Because it was up to you. Probably some of you got I, probably some of you got they, probably some of you got she, ¿ok? Depending on the context. What do you need to have it like the same? Lo único que van a tener lo mismo es el did y el verbo meet, ¿ok? That's the only one. It's like in number two, right? ¿ok? Okay, this is a model of example of number two. All right, Natalie, read number four. Ever. Did he to learn sometime? Uh, repeat again, Natalie. Did she learn sometime? Uh, something, something. Uh, something. Yes, something, okay. Uh, let's see, did she learn like this? Así lo tiene? Natalie? Natalie, are you there? Está pasando el rayazo, eh, teacher, quizás eh, no le oye. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ok, ok. Con tal no le haya caído ahí cerquita. <laughs> ok, yeah, let's, let's. Wow, yeah, that must be like very strong. Ok, yeah, that's, that's the way how we got it there, right? Did she learn something? There you go. Uh, Fatima, read the number five. Okay. 
Number five. Mm -hmm. Is he need work in the convention? Did he? Network? Okay. Like this. Did he network in the convention? Okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima. And let's see, William, give me the last one. Okay. Uh, did you exchange business cards? All right, uh, with ED or like that? Did you exchange jet? Ah, uh, William, in this it. case, in este caso, William, and no iría con ED exchanged, porque como ya tenemos el did acá en la pregunta, ya el verbo principal iría en forma base. Okay. Yes. Ahí solo eliminemos la D. It's James. Yes, that's, that's the correct way. Así como está la estructura aquí abajito. Verbo <coughs> en forma base. Okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. That's the way uh, we got it then. Uh, okay, now, what are we going to do with uh, uh, the rest of the information? Okay, that, that's going to be like kind of easy. We're gonna leave it like that, this one, and let's focus on the following uh, things. Give me a second, I'm going to stop sharing this. So now let's move on. Let's move on down. Let's go to the next page in this one. Okay, what are we gonna be talking about now? We're gonna be talking about uh, uh, small talks. Can somebody tell me what do you understand for a small talk? What is a small talk? Okay, I'm gonna go straight to Ever. Okay, Eric, and then Ever. Eric, tell me, what is Una a small pequeña, talk? Uh, pequeña conversación. Okay, that, that would be like, a, like something like something short. Ever? It's the same to, to say Eric. The... The shorty conversation. Ah, okay. All right. Next question. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start uh, one by one. I'm gonna start with Jonathan. Jonathan, do you consider yourself okay a good conversationalist? Conversationalist means a person that talks a lot. Do you consider that you that you like talking? Se considera usted una persona que le gusta eh, entrar en conversación con todo tipo de personas o con todas las personas? Yes. Ajá. Okay. Nice. Good. Uh, let's see somebody else. The one that got the angry face. Stephanie Rutia. Ahorita acaba de apagar la cámara. Tell me, Stephanie, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Um, repeat again, please. It's, it's this part. <laughs> It's this part, uh, Stephanie. Uh, uh. Would you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Um, what is the conversationalist? I don't know. Uh, someone who likes to talk. Alguien que le gusta hablar. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I yes I do. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. You like talking. Okay. Yes, I like talking. Uh, all right. 
Vamos, vamos a preguntar eso. Uh, let's see. To whom? To someone that is very quiet in this classroom. All right. Like, I mean, in this, in this, in this class. Ana Maria. How about you? How about you, Ana Maria? Mm. How do you consider yourself? Yes. Yes. A good conversationalist. Are you a good conversationalist? Yes. Uh -huh. Significa que cuando está esperando el micro o el bus, if you go there, se puede poner a platicar sobre cualquier tema con otra persona. Mm, depende si me da la impresión de que es una o oh, mm, I know es <laughs> what it's happened no. there in that case no. why not why, why not, not eh, no me inspira la confianza tampoco ah ok yeah, that person probably don't, doesn't make you feel comfortable tengo que sentirme <laughs> como Que no le van a robar. <laughs> Yo con mi cartera, sí. Ok, ya, hasta Ana se María. Me olvidó, hasta se me olvidó eso, porque pues ya tengo más de un año y algo de estar en casa y casi ni, ni a bordo buses y solo ah. salgo a caminar. O sea, ya, ya ese, ese diario vivir que tenía antes, ya se me olvidó. Y ahora do it. Cuando salga van a hacer una voladora. <laughs> sí. <laughs> 86 años después, así como salía la visita del titán. Cuando salga va a decir, oh Dios mío, ¿por qué la gasolina está tan cara? Sí, de hecho está cara ahorita. Ya es así como que en mis tiempos estaba a dos. No, actually, bueno, ya llegó, llegó un gasolina. momento cuando hubo un incremento súper alto que estaba en cinco dólares y yo lloraba cada vez que le ponía el, cuando tenía el carro. <laughs> yes, yeah, now in here, here in Oriente is four dollars, the galoon, four dollars, four and something. Pero ya, pero ya tienen piso, lo pueden pagar y no lloran. Uh -huh. yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, come on, Ay, but, but that ganado. does, okay, but that doesn't mean that we have to pay for it, like too expensive. Nah, it's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, let's let's continue with this. Okay, listen. These are possible topics. Okay, You're, this is like vocabulary related to the company. Este es vocabulary igual relacionado a, a cualquier empresa o compañía. Okay, what are we gonna do with this vocabulary? Listen up. Lo que vamos a hacer con este vocabulario es que vamos a hacer pequeñas conversaciones en parejas usando este tipo de vocabulario. What is this type of question? Short, short talks. Vamos a crear like short talks dependiendo del tipo de vocabulario que escojamos. And we got a series of questions, examples in here. Okay, let's start with, uh, with a location. Okay, what does location mean? It means a specific point of a company, a branch, or an event. Okay, uh, Rosa del Carmen, can you please read the information that we got here in location? We got company near. Aha, uh -huh, near. Is your company near the trade center? Nah, okay, very good. So what does it mean? What are we asking in that case? Ahí estamos preguntando sobre una ubicación, all right? A location about something. Is your company, I might ask example, Ana Maria. Is your company close from what? Torre Futura, I think is the name of that big tower in San Salvador. That might be a, a question, right? So Ana Maria might say, if it is close or not, okay? But in this case in here, it, it is going to depend on the type of question that we ask the answer. 
Acá sí podemos usar el present continuous, podemos usar simple present, ok, o incluyen simple past para crear preguntas. Ok, uh, más abajo tenemos un pequeño uh, modelo de, de preguntas para crear una short talk como las que vamos a hacer. All right, that's related to location, ok. Uh, Romeo, read the following one. The company or vocabulary questions related to company. Um, what are uh, some of your responsible adverbs in? Okay, so when we talk about the company, is the type of job. Es el tipo de trabajo que ustedes tienen, eh, qué departamentos manejan, okay, qué departamentos están. Like something like that, related to the company. For example, este nada más es un ejemplo de pregunta, dice. What are some of your responsibilities at Rex Inc? Okay. That is a common question. So I can ask, uh, let's see. I'm going to ask Diana. Diana, what are some responsibilities in your company? My responsibility is sell advisor. Uh -huh. Take inventory. Okay. Uh, clean. Limpieza general. <laughs> okay, clean everything. Clean everything. No, okay, very good. So you see, that's one of the responsibilities that you got in the company. So questions like that we can create. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Hilmar, read about the uh, politics aspects. Uh, politics. This politicians. Politic okay, politicians. Politicians are a disaster. Disaster, uh -huh. What do you think? Okay, very good. It's like if we start talking about politics, right? Como cuando comenzamos a hablar de política. Oh my God, that's a controversial topic in here. Uh, and we say, ah, this politics, these politicians are a disaster. Eric, what do you think? No, Eric, it's just an example, okay? Ah. No, se, no, yeah, I mean, no, no, no se yeah. descargue acá. <laughs> sí, porque ya iba a decir. Relax, ahí. relax. Iban a tener Eric. que poner varios tu, 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 en, el, <laughs> en el video. No, Eric, relax. Nos van a vetar de gente. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. In that case, okay, we can talk about that, okay? Like, Provide questions related to that. Okay, next. All right, give me a second. Got it. Ah, which one is that? Common events or common event. What does it mean? Ah, in that case, uh, what do we understand by common events? Ah, it can be a training, it can be a seminar, it can be a meeting, right? Eventos que suelen darse, ok, en nuestras empresas o compañías. ¿Cuáles son las más comunes? Meetings, seminars, what else? ¿Qué más suelen haber como eventos comunes? Lunch. No, ok, all right. Lunch. Uh, uh, I am in a, uh, ok, a lunch. Happy birthday. A birthday. Ah, ok, Christmas party. Very good. Yeah, those ones are like, like common events. All right, uh, let's see. Mrs. Janet, read that one, please. Okay. And how long even though? Yes. Are you enjoying the seminar? No, okay, very good. Are you enjoying the seminar? All right, in that case, that person might say, yes, I am or no, I'm not. 
Okay, depending on what kind of seminar is that. Okay, next, travel. Ah, okay. That is like when, uh, when you have to go from department to department, visiting branches, okay? Or if you got uh, companies in another country and you have to go in business uh, trips. So let's see who can help me out with that. Hmm. Salvador, read that one, please. <laughs> Okay. Does your job here you a lot of travel? Okay. Does your job repeat? Does your job require, require a lot of travel? A lot of travel. Okay. Thank you, Salvador. Okay, I can ask that questions to let's see, William. William, does your job requires a lot of travel? In your, in your job, do you need to travel, William? No. No? No. So you, you just work in one single company and that's it. You don't go yes. from one place to, to another. Uh-huh, yes, okay, okay. Uh, static. Uh, that, yeah, that's an static job. Okay, very mm -hmm. good, okay. very good. Yeah, but there are, there, are, there are companies like, for example, Eric has to go from one place to another, right, Eric? Right, teacher. Ah, uh, yeah, man. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, ojalá que lo manden a San Miguel algún día de estos. Yeah, I mean, for oh, you to travel, for you to travel. Uh, okay, besides uh, okay. Eric, besides Eric, who else um, has to travel in, 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 the, in the work? ¿Quién más aparte de Eric tiene a veces que salir por parte de trabajo? To visit other companies. Me, you, Hilmar? Yes. Ah, okay. I visit... Uh, Sometimes, 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 uh -huh. the mountain, el pacayal, el pacayal, el pacayal, in San Miguel, ah, yeah, in San Miguel, there's a place that is called el pacayal, now I remember, wow, eh, y ahí está una, una repetidora, ah, ok, a veces hacemos, probamos enlaces, para todo, ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. No, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's really interesting then. Okay, that requires to travel. Anybody else, alguien más, ever? You have to travel or you stayed in one single place? No, teacher, I travel too. Uh, really? Only in the country, um, some department of, sometimes I went to Santana, other day I went to San Miguel too. Ah, really? Sultan, yeah. Ah, I, I, yeah, I visited some workshop of the, how do you say, rectificado? To rectify? Requ rectify motors. Ah, yeah. okay. Nice. That's, that's, that's cool. Okay. I guess oh. also like the ones. Carla, in your work, uh, you, you are like an static one or you have to move from one place to another? Mm, no, teacher, only office. Ah, that's an office work. No? Yes. Okay, very good. So I guess, Salvador, I guess Salvador, right? You have to move from one place uh, to another, Salvador? Uh, this is this evening. Mm -hmm. The store, Ah, okay. Very good. So you are like, like visiting places. Now, okay, that's great. That's really nice. And I guess like the rest is just like an office, office work. <laughs> Natalie's coming. Hi, Natalie. Teacher, se fue el inter. Ah, really? No, dijo Ana sí. 
Dijo Ana María que usted se había asustado por un trueno y se había ido a dormir. No. <risa> Ganas no me faltan. Ey, ¿Cómo no, no, la defendí. No, teacher, se, cabal, cuando estaba hablando, se, yes. yo pensé que a usted se le había, se le había desconectado. Porque se quedó trabado. Ya, yeah, la, la, ah, la, 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 static. ¿Y cómo, no, costó, eh, cómo costó que regresara? Yeah, sometimes that, that, that ¿Sí? problems. All right. Eric? Sí, no, no, Natalie, yo le quería aclarar eso que está diciendo el teacher. Está mintiendo acerca sobre lo que dijo Ana María. Ana María no dijo eso. Ana María dijo que era costumbre suya hacer lo mismo en el trabajo. <risa> Eric? Eric? Yes, that's true. That's true. Solo, solo por eso, solo por eso voy a ver la clase. La voy a repetir. Solo por eso. Ah, ok, good. Ah, yeah. You will repeat Esa es mi defensa. Mira, hay prueba, mira. hay prueba. Hay prueba, Natalie. Está bien. Yo mute. defendí por usted. Ana María ah, estaba vaya, en si mute. Me gusta. Igual sin mute, Ana María. No, y ahorita ah, se Ah, mentira. Ok. No, ya, ya vamos a ver, ya vamos a ver. Voy a, ver, voy a repetir la clase solo por eso. Ah, you can repeat the class? Ok, ok. All right. So, we got the money, the money aspect. Uh, Mrs. Urrutia, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Drinking coffee, Mrs. Yes. Urrutia? <laughs> Yes. No, yo creo que... If I were you, I would be drinking coffee. If you, since you got wet, you, you, you basically <laughs> took a shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since you got wet, yeah, I mean, a coffee is not bad. Okay, I, uh, I want you to read this, this, this part, Mrs. Rutia. Money? Let, yeah, related to money. Uh, are you making good money in your job? No, no, okay. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. No, uh, I'm not. Okay, okay. Let's imagine I got that. <laughs> Let's imagine I got that question to Fatima. <laughs> All right, Fatima, are you making good money in your company? Uh, be chair. I don't. Uh, no. no, I'm not. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Let's leave it like let's leave it like that. Natalie. <laughs> How about you, Natalie? Are you making good money in your company? Hola. Are you making good money in your company? Are you making good money in your job or company? Ay, no, teacher, no le entiendo, la verdad. Mrs. Urrutia, tell her. Decirle que sí, Natalia. <risa> no, imagínate que sea algo malo y yo le voy a decir que sí, no, no, no. No, 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 que si vos ganas bien en el trabajo. Ay, yeah. no, mami. Yeah. <risa> hey, don't, don't make fun of that, okay? Okay, stay there. Ahí, ahí, quedémonos ahí, hey, right? no. Yeah. El teacher se burla de nosotros, se burla right. de nosotros. Why? No, no, listen. Mira, hasta rojo lo veo yo, hasta rojo, tanta no, risa. Es, es, es el reflejo del foco. No, listen, listen. Vamos a dejarlo ahí, no quiero que se me vayan a emocionar. Y, y, no, y empecemos todos a llorar. Ah, ok, no. no yes. The only one who gets good money in here is Ana María. She's just working together. Yeah. Yeah, she's making money. Okay. Bonuses. So so. So so. Yeah, I mean, you got bonuses and everything. Hmm. Okay. Están cambiando a veces constantemente, no siempre. Hay uh, yes, hay momentos yeah. que sí son very good, pero sometimes they are no very es. bad. <laughs> yeah. La pandemia nos ha venido a afectar también. Yes, I know that. I truly know that. Okay, bosses. In here, do are, are you are you acting like a boss in the place where you work? Tengo acá algún jefe de alguna unidad or something like that. Any job? In any job? No. Nope. 
So Fatima says no. Hmm. Eric. Eric is a jefe. Are you are you a boss in a in a in a somehow, Eric? En realidad, no, teacher. O sea, eh, lo veo como al, alguien más de apoyo, no como jefe. O sea, no, como but, alguien... but, but you, give in, you give instructions to, to people in your work? In your yes. Job? Yes. So you're, you're, so you're acting like a boss. Mm, pero no, como le dijera, no definido. No, actually, you're you're mostly like a manager or something like that. What the I feel humilde. Exactly. I was about to say that. What the humble person. Uh, yes. No, no lo veo así. Es más alguien de apoyo. Mejor. What the humble person. Huh. Alguien que lleva el pollo, dice. <laughs> Okay, okay. Salvador si sí es jefe, mire. Okay, lo que sucede es que a veces nos dan el cargo de jefe, haciendo las cosas del jefe, sin la paga del jefe. Bueno, ah. no por favor, que no ya... So, the payment, the payment, the payment is not for a boss, and the responsibilities are for like a boss. Yes. Nah, that's more work for you then. Nah. Yeah. De a poquito a poquito le dice no, si sí, no puedo. Oye, eso, eso es cierto. Por ejemplo, en el, en el área, eh, en mi área de trabajo, mmm, ahorita no tenemos como un gerente del, del departamento, no hay, pero todos tenemos áreas específicas que son nuestra responsabilidad. Este, entonces, las personas de esas áreas eh, se abocan a nosotros para cuando tienen algún, alguna necesidad o algún problema. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, that's 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 like interesting. Okay, I, I can I can understand now how why why you're saying that you're not basically a boss. Okay. All right, good. There you go, Mister. Okay, let's let's continue with related to bosses. Diana, read the question, please. ¿Cuál sería, teacher? Disculpe. Uh, in the buses section. Here, the one that is marked. Buses. I work for a... Tyrant. Tyrant. Okay. What about you? Okay, thank you, Diana. What is tyrant, people? What is tyrant? I work for a tyrant. A tyrant... Tyrant? Tyrant. Tyrant is an oppressive boss. Yeah, like someone that tells you, hey, Diana, you have to work from seven in the morning to five in the afternoon. If you tell said, no, okay, you are fired. So that's a tyrant. Oh, okay. Yes. Negrero. <laughs> <laughs> what? Negrero, jefe negrero, algo así. Jefe negrero, what is that? Um, como lo que acaba de explicar, que es tyrant. Es yeah, como, like... eh, ajá, como negrero. All right, un tirano. Ajá, alguien que le dice exactamente lo que usted tiene que hacer y si no lo hace, la despide. Ah, uh, uh -huh, negrero. No, ok. Good. Yeah, I mean, there are people like that. A lot of people like that. Okay, before continuing, antes de continuar, voy a tener, porque voy a pasar lista. Okay, we completed one hour after the cut. Give me a second. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Ana Claribel. Present. Nah, okay. Got it there. Uh, Ana Maria? Present. Okay, very good. Diana Gabriela? Present. Okay. Eric Guillermo? Present, teacher. Excellent. 
Ever de Jesús. Present. All right, very good. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay. Flor Idalia. She's not here. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Okay. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, very good. Carla Benazir. Present. Very nice. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. Nubia Zulema. Hey, where is Nubia? Hey, Nubia se nos desconectó or what? Nubia, are you there? Sí, sí, teacher. Me ha costado conectarme. Ah, okay, Nubia. Okay. Thank you. Romeo Alexis. Romeo. Romeo. Hey, Romeo. Por eso, mire, usted, usted por, es que... a, por estar prestando atención a otra cosa, ¿verdad? no me contestaba. Ah. No, hombre, es que <risa> yo pensaba que tenía activo el micrófono. Ah, ok, Romeo. Ok, okay. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ah, ok. Thank you. Roxana Yesenia. Okay. Roxana Yesenia. Present, chair, present. Ah, ok, Roxana. Salvador Alfonso. Present, chair. Ok. Sara Carolina. Ah, yes, yeah, Sara is missing. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Ah, ok. William Alberto. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. And the last one, Stephanie Janet. Present. Nah, okay, very good. All right, okay, let's. No me mencionó. Didn't I? Give me no. a second. Ah, I got it, Joanny. Yes. Ya le había puesto el puntito acá. That's why. Ah, por, bueno. eso, por eso de una me saltó. <laughs> no problem. You got it there. Yeah, bueno. Okay, good. Let's continue. Give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing this. Okay. Got it there. Uh, and let's do the last one. Likes. Okay, esto ya más bien. Es, es, en esta parte de likes. Hace referencia a todo tipo de actividad que nosotros nos gusta hacer. Okay. And we can ask about it. Jonathan, help me out reading that one, okay? Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Nah, okay, very good. Do you enjoy outdoors activities? Outdoors activities. What do you understand by outdoors activities? What are outdoor activities? Any volunteer? Work. Voluntary? Work. Huh? Work. Okay. In the park. Walk on the park. In the park. That's an outdoor activity. Okay. Outdoor activities entiende como actividades al aire libre. Okay. Like when you go running, you go walking, uh, you go on a bicycle uh, to the park or something like that. Or you walk your dog or everything. Fishing. So, which, which one? Fish. Uh, ah, yeah, go fishing. That's an outgoing activity. Yeah, because it's outside your house. But it's just fuera de su casa, okay? It's like al aire libre, right? That's outdoor activity. All right, good. So that's part of the vocabulary that we got for short conversations. Ahora bien, vámonos a esta parte acá. Dice... Think about three other good topics for a small talk. 
aparte de las, de, las, de las small talk que podemos sacar de acá, ¿qué otros temas pueden ser de interés para en, eh, establecer una small talk, una pequeña conversación? Besides this one, what else? I want just three. Football. All right, football, in that case, uh, soccer. Okay, Jonathan, good. Uh, Hilmar, you mentioned something? About songs. About, uh, I didn't listen, Hilmar. The songs. About songs, music, canciones? No, songs, hijos. Ah, all right. En ese caso, como es, como es uh, plural, sería mejor children. Children, okay. Yeah, like hijos. Okay. The weather. Okay. All right, about the weather. That's another one. Very good. So let's stay with that one. Okay, we can put it like this. Um, we can say, like in a general way, we can put in here. Football t-shirt. Sports. Which one? Well, well, Nubia? Football, soccer. Ah, okay, good. Vamos a poner sports in general. Okay, deportes. Okay. I include soccer, it might be tennis, basketball in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. In here, like the topic that Hilmar said, children. Okay, and in here, uh, the one that Eric said. Weather. Okay. Right now, this topic is the Bitcoin. <laughs> the Bitcoin? Ah, okay. You can even include that one. Why not? We can put it in here. Bitcoin. Okay. That might be another topic uh, to discuss. <laughs> A Bitcoin. That's, that's a very controversial topic. Muy controversial ese tema. Okay, that's, that's another one, right? That's another one. Y la novela de Messi, la que todo el mundo anda hablando. Ah, yes, obviously. All right. That is in sports. That is in sports. Ahora somos parisinos acá. <laughs> ah, you see Eric too. <laughs> yes. Pero no vamos a ver. Ah, no, pero, siempre, pero no, siempre Barça, pero hoy voy a seguir el, el PSG también. Y déjeme adivinar. El fin de semana jugaron, pero no lo vio porque no jugó Messi. <risa> no, lo vi, lo vi. Quería, lo vi, fíjese. Quería ver cómo estaba el equipo antes yes. de Messi y para ver, tener ah, una mejor Messi. apreciación. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ah, para ver si es cierto. Yes, yes, Porque just, acuérdese just, just, que sí. no, en todos los, eh, no en todos los lugares eh, sobresalen de la misma manera. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Like, yeah, like every place is kind of different for all the players. Okay, I'm going to save that one and I'm going to eliminate this. Okay, good. What are we going to do with this? And what are we going to do with the rest of information? Listen up. Uh, listen, vamos, ¿qué vamos a hacer con el vocabulario que tenemos arriba en la pequeña tabla relacionado a politics or something else? And these ones related to sport, children, Bitcoin, weather. We are going to create a short talk like this. This is an example. Take a look at this. Okay, we're going to practice this short talk and then we are going to create one single conversation between two of you. It says, take turns to practice this model conversation with a partner. Let's read it. Vamos a leerla. It says, speaker A and speaker B. It says, Excuse me, where is the conference? Listen up. Excuse me, where is the conference? It says on speaker B. It's on the second floor. It's on the second floor. 
And it says to speaker A, thanks. By the way, by the way, are you attending to? Are you attending to? And it says to speaker B, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, from there. De esa pequeña conversación, that, that is small talk. ¿Tienen alguna palabra que no comprendamos? O comprendemos todo. Do we understand everything? The meeting of, by the way. By the way means por cierto. Por cierto. Yes. Okay. Right? Yeah, por cierto, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, I got more people today. Hey, you got 19. Hmm. One more is missing. Okay, this is a model of conversation from the ones that we're gonna do, like right now. What do I want? I want we to practice this one. Carla and Ana Maria, can you please be so kind and practice this one? Okay. Carla, be a speaker A and Ana Maria speaker uh, B. Okay. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the by the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. No, okay, very good. All right, Ever and Fatima, do it, please. Ever, speaker A and Fatima, speaker B. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you to you both. Salvador, I want you to help me out with Rosa del Carmen. Rosa, are you there? Rosa. Okay. Rosa. Give, me, give, me, give, me, give me a second. <laughs> okay. okay. Rosa, were you sleeping? <laughs> oh my God, Rosa. Okay, Rosa, no problem. Okay, Salvador, speaker A and Rosa, speaker B. <laughs> uh, Rosa, uh, excuse me, where is the conference? It is on the second floor. Thanks. The, the way are you attending to? All right, Salvador, let's read it again. Vamos a leerlo otra vez. Thanks. Okay. Uh -huh. By the way. By the way, are you attending to? Very good. Yes, I am. Okay, thank you, Rosa. And thank you, Salvador. Eric, I want you to help me out with Mrs. Janet. Excuse me, where is the conference? Um, it's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Right, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, Hilmar, let's do it with Nubia. Okay. Uh, I am a speaker A. A speaker A and no a speaker B. Okay. Excuse me, what is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Uh, Nubia. Yes. Okay. yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, okay. Yeah, you got problems with right with the internet. Thank you, Nubia, yeah, and yeah. thank you, thank you, Hilmar. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see who's next. Roxana, help me out with um, with Natalie. 
médico. Ok, empiezo yo, Roxana. Está bien. Está bien, Natalie. Excuse me. Ok, excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Natalie, and thank you, Roxana. Okay, Joanny, help me okay, out teacher. with... Okay, help me out with Jonathan. Joanny, be a speaker A, and Jonathan, be a speaker B. Okay, teacher. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. The day way are you attending to? Yes, All right. I am. Okay. Remember, Joanny, that's by the way. By the way. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Joanny, and thank you, Jonathan. Romeo. Ah, okay, Romeo. The muscle, Romeo. Uh, let's work with Diana. B, speaker A, Romeo, and Diana B. Romeo. Ahora. Ajá, yeah, I listen to you. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Okay, by the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Thank you, Diana, and thank you, Romeo. Now, Mrs. Urrutia, I want you to practice with William. Okay. What is the level? All right, William, B, A, and Mrs. Urrutia, B. Okay, excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Okay, yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you to you both. All right, and uh, then I got Ana Garcia. Are you there? Okay, since there is nobody else to practice, Anna, let's do it with me. Do you want to be A? You're gonna start, I'm gonna practice with you. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks, by the way, are you at 32? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you, Anna. Okay, what are we gonna do with this? Listen, ¿qué vamos a hacer con esta información? Listen, basada en esta pequeña conversación, a modo de ejemplo, y a modo de ejemplo de las preguntas que tenemos en el cuadro arriba, ok, quiero que escojan una chart conversation topic. Quiero que escojan un tema de todos esos. Pueden ser inclusive los que tenemos acá, like sport, children, bitcoin, weather, o los que están arriba. Y en parejas vamos a crear una pequeña conversación. Ana María. Vamos a crear una pequeña conversación, ¿ok? Como esta, así, ¿ok? Puede ser utilizando el like simple present or present continuous, as this one, ¿ok? Like the one that we got in here. But I advise you to do it using simple present. Pero les aconsejo mejor que lo hagamos en presente simple. That would be like better. Sería como un poco más, más sencillo. Okay, for you all. What do I really want? Quiero que tomando como a modo de ejemplo esta pequeña conversación, creemos nuestra propia. De cualquiera de los temas que tenemos ahí. It can be about money. It can be about location. Okay, como las preguntas que teníamos ahí. Por ejemplo, si yo, le, si yo quisiera trabajar con Jonathan. Yo le digo, Jonathan, Jonathan, 
Where is your job located? Uh, Come on, Jonathan. Complete sentence. Uh, respuesta completa, Jonathan. My job is located in San Salvador. Ok. Y Jonathan puede devolver la pregunta. And yours y el tuyo. Ok. Y luego la otra persona responde. Ok. That's the idea. Like for you to, 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 to start a short conversation related to that topic. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Do we understand? Come on, Ana María. ¿Por qué me dice así esa manito? Medio, medio. Que, que sí, que no. Okay, another example, Ana María. If you got sports, tenemos el, el, el tema sports. El tema sports es grande. Ahí incluye varias disciplinas de deporte. Okay? De sports podemos sacar un tema en específico. Por ejemplo, Okay. Take this 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 in consideration. Vamos a hacerlo acá. Listen, like this. Vamos a crear acá con el tema sports. Y puede preguntar a alguien. Do you listen up? Do you like soccer? Yes, I do. Puede decir la otra persona. Ok. Después, ¿qué es lo que comúnmente se pregunta? Ah, easy. What is your favorite team? Ah, ¿cuál es tu equipo favorito? Ok. My favorite team is, right, Eric? And you? Ahí le devuelve la pregunta. Ok, ¿qué tiene que hacer la persona que preguntó antes? Ah, mencionar lo mismo. Ah, my favorite team is, y mencionar, ok, el, el, el equipo. You see? Algo así, algo corto. Okay, like a smart conversation. That's what it is. Okay, comprendimos ahora? Ana María? Okay, good. Lo vamos a hacer, eh, let's see, hablamos uh, 18. Good, lo vamos a hacer en parejas entonces. Give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing this. Voy a dejar de compartir un momento para mandarlos a trabajar en los breakout rooms. So we can nine. There is a second signal. All right. I mean. Give me a second. I am creating the teams. Right, okay, vamos, démosle a aceptar y ya tenemos el cuadro ahí en sus manuales, escojan un tema en específico de esos y si tienen preguntas, please just let me know, okay? Mándenme una solicitud ahí eh, de que necesitan ayuda y yo voy a llegar ahí. Ok. And I'm going to be checking there. Démosle aceptar. 
and let's go to work. You got five minutes to complete that. Let's do it. Let's go, Ana Maria. Are you there? Perfect. Hey, Cher. Si me hemos pensado. Llegando acá, vamos. Come on. The thing is that this is, this is the breakout room number one. That's why I come here. Mire. Mire, por ejemplo, digamos que yo tomé el topic weather. Weather, el, ok. El, el clima. Ajá. Entonces yo le pregunto, do you hear o listen? ¿Qué le quiere preguntar? Escuchar. Do you listen? Listen, raining o rain. The rain. Ajá. Ajá, the rain. O sea, quería preguntar, ¿te gusta escuchar la lluvia? Yes. Yes, I do. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y de ahí, este, podría preguntar, what is your, eh, how are... O sea, ¿qué horas te gusta escuchar llover? Algo así, estaba pensando hacer yo la, la otra pregunta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, no problem. Uh -huh. yeah, así está that bien. Yes, that's the one. Uh -huh. oh, vaya. O supongamos que ustedes están lejos, el uno a la otra, ¿ok? Y usted puede preguntarle, how is the weather in the place you... Like this, look. How is the place you live? Ah, y eh, Natalie puede decir, a modo de ejemplo, it is hot here. About the Póngalo otra vez. No lo vi. Ah, no, it's in the chat. It's in the chat, Ana María. Mm. You got it? No lo veo. Ah, no alcanza a ver el chat. Espérame. Yeah, because you can find it in the chat. Ah, ya lo vi. Okay, perfect. But, por ejemplo, how is the weather in the place you live? Ah, ¿cómo es el clima en el lugar donde vive? Uh -huh. Okay, it is hot here. Ah, es caliente acá, dice. Puede decir Natalie. Y luego, how about the place you live? Ah, y en el lugar donde, donde tú vives. Y usted le puede contestar. It is cold, it is warm. Ok, dependiendo del clima. Ese es como otro ejemplo, ok. Adicional, ok. Bien, entonces, ¿qué quiero? Col comencemos a crear las preguntas, respuestas. Y pregunta que conteste, tiene que devolver la pregunta, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. If you need help, let me know, ok. Voy a visitar otros, otros grupos. Mm -hmm. Ok. okay. No, pero el, el teacher es buena onda, el teacher es buena onda. Ana, sí, el teacher es buena onda. Hey, Diana, está conspirando también, Diana. Hey, is that your kid, Diana? Hola. Ah, no, sí, no hace falta decir que es hija de ella, si se pasa. Sí, miren, mi gemela, eh. Yes, that's your twin. Mm, ¿Cuántos años God. tiene? Tiene seis. Seis. Ah. Sí, y qué cabello tan bonito para tener seis años. Wow, Gracias, that's long. Yeah. Yeah. Chang, decís Chang. Super largo. I don't know. Ella puede ah, también ah, inglés, dice. I don't know. <laughs> Oiga. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. All right, good. How do we go here? ¿Cómo vamos acá? What is the topic that you got it, chair. You got it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, so mama the topic of this part. Okay, can you can you can I can I listen what you have? Okay. 
uh, MPS uh, Diana. Excuse me, what football team does Messi play for? Aha, uh -huh. very good. Uh, Messi plays today at PS PSG. Ah, okay, very good. But he plays for Barcelona, right? Right, but the contract expired and they no longer renew it. Excellent. There you go. Okay, good. What do you need now? Just practice, okay? Just practice. Okay. Sí, eh, una, una consulta, una uh -huh. consulta, teacher. Eh, eh, to, donde fue re, renew, re, ahí es donde me confundo. Renew, renew it. Uh -huh. as, re, to renew it. Ajá, renew. Renew. Ajá, renew. Renew. Yes. Ah, ok. Solamente es. Ajá. Ok. There we go. Ok. Está bien, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to visit other breakout rooms. Sería, they are 10. Uh, 16 and 20 oh, years old. Ajá. Ajá. 20 years old. Teacher, está ahí. Yes, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish? Decir, este, la yes. yes, tell me. Vaya. Lo teníamos así. Do you like children? Yes I, yes, I do. I have two children. Very good. How how old are them? Uh, they, uh -huh. they are teens, six them are, are seven. Okay, very good. And 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien así. Uh -huh. Yes. Y ahí lo podemos dejar... O tenemos que seguir. Ok, lo, lo, lo que pueden hacer es, por ejemplo, Roxana, devolver la misma pregunta. And you, ah. do you have children? Y usted le puede decir si yes or no. Ok, y vuelve a repetir yo, eh, Roxana, la misma pregunta de cuántos años ah. tiene. Y ahí ah, muere perfecto. la conversación. Ok, ok, ok. okay. That's the one. Thank okay. You. Good. Where's Where's the place do you like to practice practice running? Right. Okay. What is the place that you go running? It's where? It's like at what? Okay. Repeat again, please. All right. Easy, easy, easy ever. Where do you go running? Y ahí Salvador le va a mencionar el lugar donde él va a correr. Where do you go? Running. Where do you go running? Yes. Where and, and this, this, this point, where is the place do you like? Eh, es la misma pregunta, solo que con más palabras. Más, más corta. Exactly. That is a short form. Esa es como la forma más corta. Like, where do you go running? ¿Dónde va a correr? Okay, where do you go? Go running. Go running. Ah, Salvador le va a decir, I go running to, y luego el lugar donde va. I go running to. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, I go running. To... I go Run. running to. Se lo voy a anotar acá, Salvador. I, I go Running to, ahí ven el chat, I got running to, y después ahí del to, usted menciona el lugar donde va a correr. We can put the Bicentenario Park. Yes, yes, you can, you can write down uh, every place you want in there. Contase al lugar, no problem. Okay. okay. Very good. Um, what else do you have? Tienen algo más? 
Eh, no, only that. Eh, only that. Sí, Salvador, Salvador, Salvador le puede devolver la pregunta. Ok. okay. No, no. The, <coughs> sorry, the, the first, eh, the first question is, is, is the next. Do you like to practice, do you like practice some sports in your free time? Ajá. And Salvador asked me. Uh -huh. and, Yes, I do. I practice basketball for some Saturday. And uh -huh. you? I practice running every Sunday morning. Where do you go to running? I go running to Bicentenario Park. Excellent. Very good. Now you got the short conversation. Excellent. Nice. Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank like you. practice a little bit because I need to check other groups. And then I will send you to the main uh, to the main room, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. To you. Let's see. I got ah, Fatima in my here. To go to the hi teacher. Hi people. Do you finish? Hi. Sí. Solo detallito. Nah, okay. Uh, <laughs> can you read it for me, please? Okay. Comienza, uh, novia, no? Okay. Do you like travel? Ah, uh, okay. Yes, say, I... there, say there, say there. Do you like to travel? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yes, I do. And you? Yes. I like to travel too. I like to go to the beach. Yes, it's nice place. I like to visit the Tunco Beach. The panorama is spectacular. Is, and the, is, is, huh? is spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> Spectacular. No, sé. no, no, no. Spectacular. Listen, I spectacular. Spectacular. There you go. Very good. The panorama is 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 spectacular, and the food is delicious. Ah, excellent. That's it. Yes. Very good. Continue practicing. Okay. Continue practicing. Okay. I'm going to check okay. another group okay. and then we go to the main room. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, right. you. Thank you to you. Ah, you got the conversation there? I have written a bike on the San Salvador volcano road. Very good. Yes, you got it good. There you go. Uh, have you been practicing that one? ¿La han estado practicando así? Sí. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to check another group and then we go to the main room, okay? Teacher. okay. Very good. Teacher, teacher, uh, I have to leave the meeting for work reason. Ah, okay. Just just take the screen for Romeo. Okay. Okay. Este, ajá. Lo que pasa es que tengo una reunión dentro de unos tres minutos eh, por la cosa de la cuestión de la lista. Va, perfecto, perfecto. Así que no se preocupe. Si gusta, puede leerme la acá para que practique con Romeo. Así Romeo no se queda solo. Just do it once. Okay. Eh, le voy a preguntar a, a Uh, okay, go, go. Uh, do you like cycling? Yes, I do. What category, what category have you participated in? I have participated in the mon mountain bike category, and you? And I have participated in the mountain bike category. Uh, no. Sería, yo he participado, sería, I have participado en mountain bike en the road Santa Ana. 
Very good. Okay. Uh, what place had to visit it? Visit visited by this bicycle. bicycle. Uh, I have riding a bike on the San Salvador Volcano Road. Excellent. Very good, Hilmar. Okay, Hilmar. Puede retirarse. No se preocupe, ya lo voy a incluir en la lista. Okay? Thank you. All right. There you go. Bien, Romeo. Vámonos a la sala principal. Okay, teacher. Recording in progress. <laughs> yes. Recording in progress. I, I got to do two videos about this. Tengo que hacer dos mini videos about this. Eh, uno largo y uno cortito. El del principio cuando pasé asistencia. I couldn't join como se me cortó. Ah, it's going to appear two videos. Ah, my God. Okay. Okay, listen up. Listen. Eh, in this moment, en estos momentos, Debido al corte que tuve, desgraciadamente se me fue la energía, por eso los he tenido con, con la práctica, ok, like to cover the 10 minutes, ok, that we had in there. Pero la última que vamos a hacer es like to read what you have, ok, that's the last activity that we're going to be doing right now. Simplemente vamos a leer las, las more talks that you had, ok. Eh, Ana María, who were you working with? Yeah, you were the first one, Ana María. Ah. Uh, with Natalie, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you start with Natalie, please? Okay, Ana María. How is the weather in the place you, la you live? Very good. It is how hot hot here how about the place you live it is cold no okay very good thank you Ana Maria and thank you Natalie ah Ana Maria no le quise agregar más Ajá, you didn't want to oh, more usted dijo que cortita va para que los demás compañeritos también participen Qué valor, qué valor. Okay. <laughs> All right, se los voy a valer. Carla, who Mi were pena you? Pena le da, exactly. Who were you pray? Y lo, y, lo, y lo penoso es que yo, eh, que yo lo puse a modo de ejemplo. <laughs> y mire, es que lo que pasa es que nosotros pensamos en nuestras compañeras también, ¿verdad? Que sí, Ana María. Sí. Yeah. sí. Ajá. Sí. Okay. Sí, todos queremos participar. Ok, everybody. Ok. Good. Tienen todo el tiempo para hacerlo. There you go. Carla, who were you practicing with? With Jonathan, teacher. Okay, let's start up. Jonathan? Dear. Okay, uh, do you like basketball? No, uh, I don't. Why don't you like basketball? Very good. Because I like more watch TV and play soccer. Great. Are you to are you go to the stadium on weekend? No, I don't like. Do you practice sports? Not any sport. I like more to be at home watch TV. No, okay. Very <laughs> good. All right. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Jonathan. You did it excellent. Joanny, who were you practicing with? Joanny? Tremel teacher, con Ana García. Ah, with Ana. But do you finish? Yes, teacher. Ah. Eso ah, okay, okay. Let's go. ¿Qué es usted, Ana García? Oh, yo pienso. Do you Bye. like outdoor activities? Yes, I am. What is the activities? That you like most? Mm -hmm. I like most is go for a room with my dog. What is your dog name? My dog name is Rufus. Do you like dog? No. 
always. No, no I, I don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. No, I don't. No, I don't like. Yes, teacher. <laughs> ah, that's it? Okay. Now, you don't like dogs, Anna? Really? Eh, uh, un poco, teacher. La verdad, no tengo. <laughs> ah, okay. That makes me think that, yeah, yeah, you don't like dogs. Okay, Anna, thank you. Thank you, uh, Joanny, too. All right. Okay, um, very nice. Ever, let's practice with the person that you were uh, doing the conversation. Uh, Salvador works with me and... Okay, let's okay. go. On. Okay, Salvador, do you like practice some sports in your free time? Yes, I do. I practice basketball on Saturday. And you? Okay, I practice running every Sunday morning. Where do you do running? Uh, I go practice running in the Bicentenario Park. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Ever, and thank you, Salvador. You did it excellent. Fatima, your turn. Okay, no via. I work. Yeah, aquí estoy. Okay. Comienzo, comienzo. Oh. Okay. Do you like to travel? Yes, I do. And you? Yes, I like to travel too. Uh, I like to go to the beach. Yes, it's nice, nice place. I like to see the Tunco Beach. The panorama is spectacular. Is spectacular. Uh -huh. <laughs> the food is delicious. Ah, okay. Yeah. Good. The food is delicious. Ah, cambiaron roles. Ah, Fatima, you didn't want to practice that, <laughs> that word, right? Okay, good. Se había practicado. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Nubia. Uh, okay. Roxana, who were you working with? It was with Stephanie, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Okay, very good. Let's do it. Uh, yes, sir. Did you like the children? Okay. Yes, I do. I have two children. How old are them? They have are six and are seven. Um, do you like children? Yes, I do. I have the children too. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> nah, okay. I thought you were adding more. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie, and thank you, Roxana. You did a good. Okay, you're welcome. Eric. Let's go for it, Eric. Okay, teacher. And Gabby. Huh? Ga Gabriela changed uh, the name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Este... Ahorita, espérenme. Mm -hmm. All right. Go for it. Excuse me, what football team does Messi for play? Play for? Play for, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Messi plays today at PSG. But he played for Barcelona, right? Right, but the contract is spiral and they no longer renewed it. Okay. Ese fue un, uno de los dos temas que, que tocamos, teacher. Ajá. El otro lo enfocamos al, al tema de children. Ajá. Eh, empiezo. Excuse sí. me, what is your daughter's name? Her name is Francela. And how old is she? Six years. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Excellent. There you go. Very good, Eric, uh, and, and thank you, Gary. You did it excellent. Okay. Now, let's see, and Natalie's already done. Anna has already participated. Jonathan, who were you practicing with? 
Uh, yes, it was with Rosa del Carmen. Rosa, are you there? Pero yo practicamos. Bueno, ya lo dijimos. No, dice. No, practicé con Mr. Fanny Urrutia. I am igual with Mr. Urrutia. Really? Oh. Malo, ya se había olvidado de mí. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's true. Es que tiene la cámara apagada y así no la ve. <laughs> I mean, I cannot see you like that. You see? That's the problem. <laughs> you don't turn on your camera. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, you, you, you did it, right, Jonathan and uh, Mrs. Urrutia, right? Okay, why don't you repeat it again? Yo no, no, no practiqué con ella. Yo practiqué con okay. Rosa. Ajá. And you, Jonathan? Es que no sé cómo, no me acuerdo. Es el nombre, no me acuerdo de él, no acuerdo el nombre. Okay, who participated with Jonathan? <laughs> Can somebody tell me who participated with Jonathan? Hey, nobody were participating with you, Jonathan? Es que no me acuerdo cómo que se llama. <laughs> it was a lady? Teacher, conmigo practicó, pero ya pasamos después de Ana. Oh, vaya, oh es, my Carla. God, Jonathan, with Carla. <laughs> oh my God, Jonathan. <laughs> y fuimos los segundos. <laughs> yes, and, and he was like, yeah, we participated, but I don't know who I work with. <laughs> disculpen, disculpen. Oh, my, Jonathan. Yeah, no, no problem, Jonathan, no problem. A mí me sucede con los nombres de mis otros estudiantes, Edward, like, inclusive los llamo por otro nombre. <laughs> ya hasta se acostumbran ellos a, a ser llamados por otro nombre. Ok, <laughs> Mrs. Rutia. Qué bárbaro, teacher. Mrs. Rutia, I am, like, sometimes. <laughs> Mire usted, pues, no le digo Ana. Le digo, con, the second name. <laughs> Mrs. Con, solo, con solo, teacher, que no sé, igual que Stephanie, le diga a Eric también. Hey, that's true, that's true. <laughs> y sigue, Eric. Andarido del Eric. corazón, Eric, ahí. Ajá. Ok, Mrs. Sí. Urrutia, be the last one. I want you to practice with Rosa. Ok, Rosa. Look at your camera. Hello. ¿Ah? Enciendan las cámaras, quiero verlas participar. No. Qué rey. ¿Y por qué hizo este diálogo? Yo soy de las personas que no, no platica con nadie. Se está platicando soy conmigo ahorita. Soy de las personas de que eh, no saca plática para nada. ¿Really? Oh my God. Sí, prefiero ir yo, o sea, si callada o ir escuchando música, pero. Yo no soy de las personas que está acá platicando. Ok, si la ven por la calle ahí, solo díganle hello y goodbye porque no les va a hablar. No, pero que se me ponga en el frente porque sabe que no, o sea, yo, yo no me fijo en la gente. A mí es que se me ponen en frente y me dicen hola, es que yo okay. me fijo en la gente. Okay. <risa> así le van a hacer. Así que, así que si un día me ven y no la salude, no piense que es porque no les quería saludar. Yo creo que anda un megáfono en el, en el carro ahí, like, Rosa del Carmen, ¿es usted? Please, say bye. <laughs> Just in case, ¿ok? Just in case. Ok, practice with the Mrs. Rutia. You're the last pair. All right, let's go for it. Bye. Hello, what do you like to do in your free time? Hi, Rosa. I like go to the beauty salon and go to the party. And you? I like to read books and I like to listen to music. But also, I like to party. Oh, that's great. And finish. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Ah, ya veo quiénes son las fiesteras acá. <laughs> ok, very good. I mean, excellent. Y ahí se lleva a no, no hasta, pues. hasta la cámara encendió Natal ahí para confirmar que ella también. <laughs> okay. All right, people. So we have ended up with here. I, I think... Mejor ni le contamos, Tiche. No, okay. okay. No digas nada, negrito. Ok. Good. 
Ya me imagino amaneciendo en la acera, así como dobladas ahí. No, tampoco, tampoco. Ok, uh, just saying. Just saying. Okay, just saying. All right, people. Uh, that was part of the practice, okay? Eso fue parte entonces de la práctica que teníamos para este día. Tomorrow we will continue with more practice, more conversation practices. And um, basically tomorrow we will finish um, week two. Mañana miércoles, recordemos, terminamos semana dos. Entonces, para mañana, durante el día, por favor, quiero que hagan el examen, ok, de medio curso. Mañana es el midterm, ok. Pueden hacerlo eh, en el transcurso del día. Ustedes ya saben cómo funciona. Ok, les, les enter in the platform. Do it and do the homework. Porque mañana, a más tardar, a medianoche, yo tengo que subir sus notas ya con relación a la segunda semana. Ok, para estar todo uh, like clear. Eh, recuerden que si tienen alguna duda con respecto al desarrollo de una tarea en la plataforma o igual en el, en el desarrollo de algo en el examen, just let me know. Ok, escriban en el grupo eh, que además esté desocupado ahí. Con, si estoy desocupado, les voy a contestar en el momento. Si no, like, me esperan un momento mientras me, okay, me desocupo de algo. Ok, that's what, uh, how we're going to be staying. Recordemos para mañana entonces, eh, tendríamos que culminarla con la tarea número 5 y con el examen de medio curso, que sería el midterm que tenemos ahí. ¿Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, I'm going to pass attendance list. Ajá, Rosa, tell me. Teacher, con la de las oraciones que ya teníamos que hacer con dos, la primera todavía no, no la, para mí no me sale bien. Ya le intenté de muchas formas ahí. Ah, no me sale bien por acá. En la tarea siete. Sí. Ah, okay, why don't Yo you? Yo tampoco pude. You neither, Jonathan. Ok, listen, ahí básicamente lo que tenemos que hacer es eh, prestar atención a la estructura que necesitamos para preguntas, ok, y les voy a enseñar un poco a lo que nos referimos con eso. Ustedes tienen que formular, tienen que agregar más a la estructura que tienen ahí como pregunta, ok, ¿a qué me refiero con eso? Check this out. To this one. All right. Let's go to section two. Vamos a ir un, 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 rápidamente acá a la sección dos. Este es el midterm, ¿ok? El que tienen que hacer mañana. The midterm. Socializing. I think it's homework seven, if I'm not wrong. Tendría que ser tarea siete, si no me equivoco. Like the one that I was giving you a lot of issues. I think it's ocho, siete. Yeah, this one. ¿Es esta? Sí. This one, ok. Jonathan, también esta es, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, listen up. Así, de manera rápida. Check this out. Acá tenemos esta parte. Dice, what this machine, y al final tenemos do, que es el verbo principal, ok. Recordemos que para hacer preguntas en, para hacer preguntas, en presente simple, ¿qué necesitamos? Necesitamos WS Word plus subject, ¿ok? Do. Plus do, yes, ¿ok? Do o das, cuando es tercera persona, ¿ok? And then, what do we need? Ok, in here, got it opposite. Acá tiene que ser al revés. Ah, ya me parecía raro. Yes, I'm a sleepy too. Like subject. Subject plus main verb. What do? Ok, más el This verbo machine. principal. Y en algunos casos le agregamos complemento. Esta es la estructura que ustedes tienen que seguir. Plus question mark. Ok. What does it mean in here? Ahora bien, tratemos de hacer la número uno para que vean todos eh, los que han tenido un tanto de dificultad en esa. Vaya, siguiendo la secuencia, la WH word. ¿Cuál es la WH word que aparece what? en la pregunta? What. Ok, what. 
vamos a comenzar con esa. What y luego el do o das. Do. Do. Dice, dice this machine, esta máquina. ¿Cuántas máquinas se refiere? ¿Es singular o plural? Singular. So, ¿es do o das? Do. do. Ah. Es das. Yes, das. Es singular. This machine. Ok, es singular. What does this machine? This machine. Okay. This machine sería el do. Does do. Ok, y luego al final el verbo principal, do. do. And you got the question. You see? Y ya tenemos formulada la pregunta. What does this machine do? And you got it there. Y así es la forma en cómo vamos a ir resolviendo esa serie de preguntas siguiendo este esquema. Ok, Rosa. And Jonathan. Mm, disculpe, Rosa, no la entendí. El subject. El subject en este caso sería this machine. Es, this machine. es que es que en algunas preguntas no necesariamente va a ir he o she o I o you, sino se refiere a cosas inanimadas o cosas que no tienen vidas, como un carro, una máquina, ¿ok? There are things okay. that don't have life. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo único que tenemos que prestar atención? Que no esté do. en plural, porque si es en plural, entonces sería do. Si mm -hmm. está en singular, ok, only one, entonces es okay. das. ¿Ok? En ese caso, cuando es en tercera persona, como en el segundo. <risa> ah, aquí, sí. Ah, es mm. lo mismo. Vamos a seguir la misma secuencia. Sería, utilizando entonces sería das. who she does. Eh, no, who no. Does. Revisemos la estructura. Vaya. Mm -hmm. Ok, eh, comenzamos con la tabla de score. Who. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sigue después de who? Digamos la estructura. Who la does. Estructura. Exactly. Das. Das. Ajá. Y luego el subject. ¿Cuál es el subject? Ajá. Sí. On... There you go. Y ahí tenemos la pregunta. Saturday. Yes. Saturdays. Ahí no hay si le dije, pues, puta, sí. Y no. me dijo, no. Ah, yo lo escuché al revés. <risa> ok, es no que problema. Lo dije primero así, pues lo dije al revés. <risa> ok, ok. No, entonces, esa es la estructura que vamos a seguir. No sé si le pueden tomar captura ahí a la estructura para que la puedan continuar. Y si tienen alguna pregunta adicional con ello, pueden mandármela a través de WhatsApp, ¿ok? En I will help you up. Ok. Ok, very good. Uh, so, I'm, ok, I'm going to stop sharing this. Give me a second. All right. Uh, now, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Ahora sí voy a pasar asistencia. Like, Ana Claribel. Present. All right. Ana María. Present. Very good. Uh, Diana Gabriela. Present. Nice. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Very good. Ever de Jesús. Present. Okay, excellent. Fatima Alejandra. Present, teacher. Nice. Floridalia is not here. Uh, Gil Marcruz, uh, he, had, he had a meeting. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right, Jonathan. Uh, today we have the 10 minutes feedback with you. So stay after class, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Carla Benazir. Present teacher. There you go. Uh, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Excellent. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Romeo Alexis. Present. All right. Who? Rosa del Carmen. Present. All right. Uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Sara Carolina, she didn't connect to. Stephanie Lisette. Present. All right, thank you. William Alberto, uh, he had a problem with the internet. Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. All right, thank you. And Stephanie Janet. 
expression. Okay, very good. So people, if you don't have any other question, see you tomorrow, do the homework and have a wonderful night. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you, teacher. You're welcome. All right. Good night. Bye. Jonathan, stay with me. Okay. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Mrs. Surrutia. Pórtese bien. Usted también. Bye. Ok, Jonathan. Eh, vamos a tener 10 minutos en los cuales nos van a servir igual para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener sobre esta clase y clases anteriores. All right. Uh, and I don't know if you have had any questions related to the previous topics or this topic. Ok. Uh, pregunta, pregunta. Solamente que. <clears throat> Eh, en, la conver en la conversación, más que todo, de ir formulando lo que, lo que nos vamos diciendo así en pareja, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. en, el caso que, en este caso, de, de crear la conversación. Uh -huh. Ajá. Expresiones así como, eh, aunque puede ser o, o, o cosas así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Hablándolas en inglés, ya sería como como so o algo así. Exacto. Que se, vaya, ajá, pero en qué momento se usan. Porque, ah. vaya, por ejemplo, nosotros hicimos una conversación ahora uh -huh. y, y en, en qué momento podemos usar so o algo así, no, no sabemos. Bueno, yo no sé. Ok. So básicamente se utiliza en la mayoría de casos para enfatizar algo. Ok. En la mayoría de casos es como para enfatizar. Vaya, por ejemplo, supongamos que vamos por la calle, ¿ok? Y vemos un lugar bastante bonito. Y usted dice, that place is nice. Ah, ese lugar se ve bien. Ahora bien, mire este. That place is so nice. Ah, ahí dice, ese lugar se ve muy bonito. Ahí, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Enfatizando, ¿ok? Que ese lugar se ve bien bonito utilizando so. All right. So, en este caso, so, también podemos catalogarlo como, ay, entonces. Ok, entonces. Por ejemplo, Supongamos que estamos hablando de un tema determinado, de la clase. Ok, and we are talking. Y luego usted me dice, so, what was the topic? Y entonces, ¿cuál era el tema? So, what was the topic? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar so? Lo vamos a utilizar dependiendo de la situación en la que estemos o de la que estemos hablando. Porque so puede ser entonces... Ok, o puede servir para enfatizar, eh, digamos, algo de lo que estemos hablando. Ok. Entonces, va a poder ser, entonces, vamos a beber o no. <risas> eh, there you go. So, are we going to drink or no? ¿Sí ah, entonces, ahí no, usamos vale. so. Ahí usamos so. Ahora bien, para, para formar palabras de enlace o linking words, digamos, para unir conversaciones, tenemos otras palabras. Por ejemplo, however. Ok. However significa sin embargo. Yo pensé que como sea. Algo así. Ah, no. Ese es whatever. O whatever. Ah, whatever. Anyway, por cierto. You see? Donde sea. All those.
No, it's like it's like that. After that, después de You see, estas son las palabras de enlace más comunes que nosotros podemos, eh, podemos utilizar. Y también so. Uh -huh. You see, esas son como las más comunes que podemos incluir dentro de una conversación para unir okay, una oración con la otra. Acá podría decir, I were... I work in Yamaha. Uh, however, however, the, the, sin embargo, no me alcanza. <laughs> however, okay, bah. check this out. Uh -huh. Check this out. Okay. I work in Yamaha. Uh -huh. However, my payment, my payment, mi pago, sí. is not enough. Ah, mi pago no es suficiente o no me alcanza. You see? Okay. Ah, entonces, entonces acá tenemos however como una palabra de enlace. Like, sin embargo. Ok. Ok. So in that case, we can use that, that series, of course. Entonces, ahí esa es la, la serie de enlaces que podemos utilizar entonces como ayuda extra, okay? In this case, to, to create those type of examples in, in a sentence and in conversations. Sí, correcto. Es que eso es lo que yo quería más o menos saber. Uh -huh. de que yo solo sabía eso, eso pero todas estas otras. No ah. Sabía que... ah, ok. Very good. All right. There you go. Bien. Aparte de eso, ¿tenemos alguna otra pregunta? Pues, no. Aparte de eso, como el tema, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Quería saber cómo se podía unir ahí para preguntar algo más. Nah. Para, para no dejarlo tan corto. Ajá, ajá. Ok. There you go. No, igual. Y cuando estén, estemos en ese tipo de, de, de actividades así, y digamos, nos quedemos faltos así como de, 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 de ese tipo de vocabulario. Igual aparece ahí la, la, el botoncito de solicitar ayuda y usted puede, puede mandarme ahí una notificación para yo llegar ahí a la, a la sala principal donde se esté trabajando y les pueda proveer de vocabulario así. Ok, sí. just, just to continue with the conversation. Sí, porque ahora vamos a estar trabajando más así con pequeñas conversaciones, like short talks. Ok. No, Va a ser de mucha ayuda esto. Yes, I know, ya. Yeah. Sí, claro que sí, porque así vamos a unir más oraciones y crear uh, más, digamos, eh, especies de conversaciones. Okay. Using the sentences. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you have any other questions, Jonathan. No. No? Ok, good. ¿Con la plataforma ya estamos claros con la tarea? Sí, ya, yeah. gracias. Ah, ok, very good. Entonces, lo espero mañana en la última clase de la, de la semana 2, ¿ok? En um, uh, with, the, with the Hongos 2, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Jonathan. See you tomorrow. Good night. All right, good night, Michelle.